and welcome to Lewis's Adventures Place Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. In this video, we're going to be covering me as I try to catch some shiny Lavatar for this month's Community Day. And there have been events that were recently announced for this summer in Pokemon Go. Like, this relates to um, field research, which will be for GoFest and the two Safari Zone events, the first in Germany and the other in Japan. If we complete all these challenges from all parts of the world, including here in the United States and throughout the Americas, we will not only get things from Stardust to XP and less time to hatch eggs, but also potentially region exclusives, possibly. On Community Day in June, I was able to catch six shiny Larvitar. I was able to teach one of my non-shiny Larvitar, a near-perfect one, the move Body Slam. And of course, I was able to do two raids. One of them, a solo raid at the Sprint Store, which of course features the Mewtwo raid that's in this video, which you will see later on. And a Kyogre raid over at Love Park which you will see shortly. Though I didn't catch a shiny Kyogre, it was still fun. I was able to get one last Kyogre before it left the game. And Community Day was a blast because I definitely was able to get more shinies this time around, unlike in May. And my luck had changed at that point. But during the Water Festival, I couldn't catch no shinies during that event. Not even Shiny Shelder, Whalmer, Magikarp, etc. But my quest for Shinies in general will continue in the next video. Well, this Kyogre went down real quickly. And we are here at Love Park. And of course, it took my second ball. But I was able to get this Kyogre. And then afterwards, I continued my community age journey all the way to the Eastern State Penitentiary where I wrapped it up right there. Well, um, it is official. Trading and adding friends in Pokemon Go was just released today. And if anyone wants to be my friend, I'll be sure to put my friend code in the description below. This just in, Lunatone and Solrock have just swapped places in Pokemon Go. Not only will I be going after my first Reggie Ice, I will also be looking for Lunatone as well. Stay tuned. This was my first ever Reggie Ice raid as I joined my friends Ken. Marvin, Corey, and almost everyone who I sometimes usually raid with in Center City. Um, in the end, this one got away. I was not successful in catching it, but afterwards, before I did successfully catch my first one, I was able to trade one of my Corsola for a Kangaskhan with my new friend Brandy, who you will see very shortly in this video. Well, I just failed to catch Reggie Ice. I'm gonna have to try again, everyone. Stay tuned if I hopefully get it. Hopefully this time it will be redemption. Hopefully this time I will get Reggie Ice. Well, this time I finally did it. I caught Reggie Ice. And I met, met Brandy, who traded me one of her Kangaskhan for one of my Corsola, which was a good and fair trade. And, well, couldn't find Lunatone yet, but when Lunatone does show up, I will be sure to bring that to you. Stay tuned, everyone. This is my new friend. Hi, I'm Brandy. Brandy. Yeah. And she traded me one of her Kangaskhan for one of my Corsola. And, well, I'm glad I finally got that because that saves me a lot of trouble. But I still look forward to go to Australia someday. All right. 
Well, I'm about to see if I can join my pal Sinbad, who's doing a 48-hour live stream, and DX1. So I can make additional content to add to this video. And possibly do some raids with them. And we got my man DX1 across the street. We will be doing this raid very shortly. As soon as more people can join me. I joined Julian and others over at the statue behind City Hall facing South Broad Street. And there were a lot of us in the lobby. And we all ended up taking down this Reggie Ice. And I was able to catch it. And wow, it was a great day to raid that day. And we're about to join my pal Sinbad as we do another Reggie Ice raid here on 22nd Street. Stay tuned everyone if I get this one because I am grinding towards level 39 as we speak. Which means after that, one more level until I can get to level 40 just like almost everyone else I've met during my journey. And we're joined here by my good man, Addison, also known as Sinbad, and he's doing his 48-hour live stream as we speak. 31 hours in already. Very good. This will be my fourth, well, fifth raid, but my fourth chance to try to get another Reggie Ice. Well, I just recently caught another Reggie Ice and contributed it to my man Sinbad's 48 hour live stream and well it was lit then of course this Wednesday will be the finale to this video the Mewtwo EX raid though I haven't had no luck in finding a um Lunatone if I don't find it in this video I'll probably find it in the next when I go to Wildwood stay tuned everyone well we're about to start the raid soon and I'm joined by friends like Matt DeMarco right over What's here. Up? What's up? Yeah. And it's gonna be lit. Well, despite this being lit, unfortunately, after the raid, things just didn't go my way. And, well, it was very disappointing. I couldn't catch this Mewtwo. But I later found out it wasn't a big deal since this Mewtwo that fled for me was only an 87% which wasn't a total loss and plus it was only a matter of time before my Mewtwo catching streak was going to be snapped and I was going to end up failing to catch the Pokemon but as I say I will get it next time and when that does happen I will bring it to you all on this channel well this is the first time I failed to catch Mewtwo, the first ever. So this breaks my streak in Mewtwo raids. But, doesn't matter since I do got a couple of near perfect ones anyways. After failing to catch Mewtwo over at the Sprint store, I go down to Chestnut Street to battle this Whalmer over at John Collins Park. Which of course, I gained some XP and then afterwards, before I went home, I stopped at Jack's Firehouse to do one more raid for the day to continue my grinding. Now currently I am at level 39 and soon I will be at level 40. The more I grind, the more I will get there. And I owe it to people like Pokemon Master Holly, DX1, Sinbad, Reversal, and I hope to be other fellow Pokemon Go YouTubers like Trainer Tips, Mystic 7, and even Captain Nintendo Dude, just to name a few. We close this video out with saying, well, I'm glad trading has finally come to Pokemon Go, as well as being able to make friends with other trainers that you meet during raids, too. Well, it's a shame I couldn't catch that Mewtwo, but it's not the end of the world. Hopefully next time I will be more successful. 
though I'm happy with the two near perfect ones I did catch. If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure! Thank you.